Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a standalone framework in iOS development and then add that, integrate that framework into a Swift UI application. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and launch Xcode and create a brand new project. Now I'm creating a framework, and the reason that I'm creating a framework is that I have a view that I want to reuse in multiple applications. All right. So I'm going to select iOS and I'm going to select framework. Next, you have to give some sort of a name to your framework. You can call it anything you want. I'm just going to go ahead and say AZ framework, but come up with a much better name than this and go ahead and save it anywhere you like. I'm just going to save it on the desktop. Now, when you create a framework, it only consists of the header files and nothing else. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add code from my other views or other controls, widgets, views that I will be using in this framework. And then that framework can be integrated into iOS applications and other people or other applications can utilize that framework. So what do I want to add to this framework? Well, I already have something called a color selector view. And I'm just going to add that. That's a Swift file, by the way. Now, there are multiple options of adding that. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this file into the AZ framework. That's the only thing that is available. And this is the file. This is my color selector view. And I have added this color selector view into the AZ framework so that in a different application, probably in my iOS application, I can use that. And this is how the AZ framework kind of looks like. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and build the application that builds successfully. Okay, great. Now, my next step would be to add this framework or integrate this framework which only consists of one view, color selector view, into my separate iOS application. So I'm just going to close this and create a brand new application. This can be my iOS app. So if UI is perfectly fine. And you can name it anything you want over here. You know, uh, we're just going to get going to call it learning so if UI, but it, you can call your application anything you want. Okay, so now we have created a regular Surf UI application. I'm just going to select a different simulator, iPhone 12 Pro Max. Currently, we don't have access to the AZ framework. So I can't really use the color selector view that is part of the AZ framework. There are many different ways of adding the AZ framework that we implemented previously, many ways to integrating it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and say add files, or you can actually say it over here on right there, add a new file or add files to uh, the project. Go to the desktop, the AZ framework, and select the actual Xcode project file. And the reason that we're doing that, we're, the reason that we're adding the Xcode project file is that so that if we want to change the AZ framework, we should be able to change it right there in the Learn Surf UI file. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. This is how it looks like. All right. Great. We can go ahead and build the app. Okay. So looks like everything is building correctly. Make sure that you select Learn Surf UI. Uh, what we want to do is we want to check out different things, what's going on. All right. So, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and select different things. I'm going to select the Learn Surf UI. That's just a project. And what we are trying to do is to go to build faces for the Learn Surf UI target. That's the important part. And then go to the link binary with library. So, you can see it's kind of empty over here, nothing there. Going to press the plus key 
And over here, I can see the AZ framework. So let's go ahead and select that and add. So we are linking a binary, uh, which binary name is AZ framework dot framework. Well, dot framework is because it's a framework, but our framework name is AZ framework. Let's go ahead and build it again. Okay, build is great. Looks like build is successful, which means that we should be able to use color selector view into our content view. That was the whole point, right? Okay, so how do we use color selector view, which is part of the AZ framework? Import AZ framework. Okay, that's great. We were able to import AZ framework, I guess. That's great. Let's go ahead and try to use color selector view. I'm just going to put it inside of eStack. Color selector. If I start typing color selector view, it actually tells me that this view is not available. So we need to fix this problem that why is it saying that color selector view is not available, although we have already added the framework which contains color selector view. Let's go ahead and take a look at the color selector view. Now, currently by default, if you add a framework or a module and there are files inside that module, those are protected by internal scope, meaning that they are only available inside that particular module. So the color selector view is only available inside the AV framework, not outside. In order to make it visible to be outside, we have to mark it with public keyword. Now, if I'm adding public keyword over here, you will see a couple of different things. Let's go ahead and first build it. I'm not sure why it's giving you this kind of error where we don't even have that. Okay, it's gonna go ahead and say text. Sometimes you'll see that kind of acts a little bit weird. Let's go ahead and add something over here. Okay, it's still giving us issues. It's still saying build failed and no error is being thrown, but the build is saying the build failed. All right. So that, these are the kind of issues that you're going to receive. You can see that it just says build failed, but no errors. Sometimes it might be helpful to just restart your Xcode. All right. So let me go ahead and do that. And we're going to launch Learn of UI again. And try to see that why is it saying build fail without giving us any error, nothing. Sometimes you can go ahead and clear drive data. Okay, there we go. So now it's saying that the property must be declared public. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and say public. And the reason again is that we want to be able to access color selector view from outside. Let's go to the Surf UI app. We are not even using color selector view right now. So let's go ahead and say color selector view. At least now it kind of shows up. And the color selector view takes in a bindable expression. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say selected color, which will be selected color. We don't really have anything called selected color, but not to worry because we can create that state property. So I'm just gonna say state, but that's just how you use the color selector view. All right, so I'm just gonna say color and we'll start with a clear color. But you can start with any color you want. Now we're facing some other issue. Since this color selector view requires that you pass in a bindable expression, it's basically saying that, hey, where is your initializer? I can't really see your public initializer, so I can't really create a color selector view because it's coming from a different module. So I'm going to go ahead and create initializer where you can pass in a selected color. Now keep in mind that the selected color that we're passing is a bindable expression. So we can't simply say color because we're actually passing a binding. So I have to say binding of color. And if I want this initializer to be available outside, I want to mark this or I have to mark this with public. But how do we set the selected color inside this initializer? Self dot selected color equals to selected color. But the problem is that the selected color is of type 
binding color while the selected color property is of type color. So we can fix this problem by setting up the underscore selected color property, which is automatically created by Surf UI. And the selected color property is actually of type binding color, which is right over here showing it to you. So that is how you will select all of that stuff. Let's go ahead and build it. Now let's go back to our content view and try to see what will get rendered. So let's go ahead and run it in Xcode Preview. And there we go. We were able to go ahead and create this. And you can see it is showing us the color selector view. If I go ahead and select a particular one, then you can see that hopefully it will actually go ahead and change and tell us that which one is selected. You can see the small white dot. This is telling us that the red is selected. So in other words, this our color selector view is working and we have created a framework and integrated the framework with our Learn Surf UI, iOS Surf UI application successfully. So this is how you would create a framework and then integrate the framework into your existing application. One other thing you can do if you have more controls, like maybe you have a rating view or a, some kind of a map view or something, whatever files that you have, you can go ahead and add it to your AZ framework or your whatever your name of the framework is, and then they will be available also to any other module, any other application, provided that the files that you're adding are exposed publicly. You can see that I have to add public over here so that all of this can be accessed outside of the current module. So this is how you add a framework in iOS and link it or integrate it with your other applications. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my courses on Udemy. You can see I have a lot of different courses ranging from Swift UI to Swift to Combined, Core Data, RX Swift, MVVM, even Testament Development and a lot more. So definitely check out the links in the YouTube description. That's the where you're gonna find the best deals. And I really hope that you enjoy those courses. Thank you so much.